Right, the first thing I'm doing is I'm just putting the fuse in the rocket. So this is the rocket, end of the rocket here. You've got the little explosive thing on the end of the wire that when you put the current through it, it ignites. This goes in the end of the rocket and it's folded across. Then this yellow plug. Ah, shit. <laughs> The yellow plug goes in the end of the thing to stop the fuse from falling out. Okay, all I'm doing now is setting up the launch control box, which is rather simple. Um, once it's all rigged up to the rocket, you flip the switch, then the light will come on, and then that means that it's on, and then you press the button, to, the button over here to fire the rocket. Right, I'm just using a 6 volt battery because this is the best battery to deliver the right amount of amps to ignite the, the ignite the thing in the bottom of the rocket to launch it. All right, this is the launch box set up now. Ready to go. I've got a long wire cable coming off it, so I'm a good distance away from the rocket. This is just the controls again. So this, when if I press the button, it'll launch the rocket. Nothing's going to happen. I flip the switch, and the light comes on. That means it's armed. And when I press the button, it launches the rocket. It also, when I press the button, it also kills the light, kills all the power to the light. So the rocket gets maximum power and launches as soon as I press the button. All right, I'm just making the fins now. Um, the fins are just going to be made out of Depron, which is modeling foam. I'm going to have three fins on this rocket, and they only, they don't, Fins don't need to be made to a high standard because the air doesn't really care what shape they are from the side. Yeah, you know, those fins are probably a bit big for a rocket this size, so make them a bit smaller. Yeah. Looks good. Okay. Now I have three identical fins. Alright, I've just hot glue gunned the three fins onto the rocket. Alright, I just hot glue gunned a cork to the top of the rocket to give it a better centre of gravity. Alright, I just put a bit of a bend in each of the fins to give the rocket some spin as it's going up, so it gives it some gyroscopic stability. Alright, I just took the rocket up to the detonator wires. Well, as I've been like setting up the rocket and everything, I unhooked one of the battery cables just to stop an accidental ignition. Right, I'm launching the rocket at my out the front of my house here. So there's um no trees like above the launch area. I'm going to be launching it from the middle of the road. As you can see, the rocket isn't like exactly huge, so if it falls on something, it's not going to damage it. Connecting the battery now. Oh, I can see that. Right, the battery's connected, and yeah, the rocket's live. Okay. Three, two, one. Right, stop. Okay, hang on. I'll get it. I got to just stop video for a second. Here on the okay, just a loose connection. Is it how far? How does it go? I'm, I'm not sure. All right. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, crikey. <laughs> okay, I'm out the back of the house now. It was launched out the front, out here. It's come up over the roof and come down, landed in all the houses down here somewhere. I've got no idea where. That, like, far surpassed what I expected it to do. It probably took about... 15 seconds for the rocket to come up, come back down. It, the main yeah, um, altitude, it's a bit hard to guess the altitude at the moment, so I'm not going to have a go. 
Yeah, so it it's landed out here, way out here somewhere. 